communication within business is happening on many platforms. It's not just paper anymore. All of those can provide content that might be relevant um, to a legal debate. Voice is a serial medium. So voice is one of those things where actually, in order to understand what's in it, you can't scan it like a, a page. You can't kind of quickly look down at it. You have to listen to every single bit of it. What intelligent voice is doing for the, the review um, industry is it's taking that reasonably difficult medium and it's giving our clients an insight into the content without having to review or listen to um, the entirety of a recording. Most of the projects that we work on are time sensitive and quite often cost sensitive. By simply reducing the volume of information by half, for example, we've just saved the client 50% of their review costs without anyone having to listen to anything. Where, where we operate is at the what you might call the decoding end, so the bit where you take the speech and you turn it to text. And, and we're still the only company in the world who can do that on uh, NVIDIA GPU technology. What the GPU um, side of things enable us to do was to take one single phone call or a video file or something like that and process it 30 times faster. So if I take a, a Tesla K80 card, for example, that will process a phone call at 30 times the rate that I can do it on a CPU. And now in the last couple of years, we're using deep learning techniques. And that is revolutionising the way we do things. Most telephone calls take place in a noisy environment. Very few people actually take the time to go to a very quiet corner and then speak very slowly. Again, you know, I, when I'm on the telephone, I gabble away and people gabble back at me and they may be talking over each other. So deep neural networking enables us to build models which can cope with a lot of these vagaries. So a lot of what we do is not just taking the, the audio and turn it into text, we try and understand what's being said. I think that GPU technology will underpin everything we do going forward. And I really mean that.